the book of Psalm, chapter 91, verse 5 to 6, the Bible says, Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that fly by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at no day. Close your eyes. Say, battles of the night. Hear the word of the Lord. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Battles of the night. Hear the word of the Lord. Go back to the sender in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Welcome to Evangelist Joshua TV. Today's topic is Psalm 91 Prayer of Protection from Evil. Psalm 91 Prayer of Protection from Evil. The Bible is the only weapon in which believer uses to fight and proclaim victory and protection from demonic attacks. Psalm 91 Prayer is a solution to so many night protections. The wonders of Psalm 91 meditation is powerful enough to bring about freedom. Psalm 91 does the following. Number one, it makes you untouchable by the enemy. Number two, it goes to the heavens to order the angels of God to protect you. Number three, it gives, it gives you peace of mind and guarantee your victory. As believers, there's no need to fear the terror of the night when you are harmed with Psalmist prayers. The power of God in Psalm 91 has helped and is continuing to help to destroy and scatter all evil oppression as I against the children of God. Daily meditation on Psalm 91 prayers from evil before you sleep can give you it can give you a sound night rest and it will make sure that the enemy do not have enemies to attack you. The Psalm 91 prayer of protection from evil attack. Instructions behind the Psalm 91 is to go on seven days midnight prayers. Seven days of midnight prayer. Seven days. Bible verse number one is taken from the book of Psalm 91 verse 1. The Bible says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Close your eyes. Take this prayer upon loud and clear. Say, O oh Lord, Help me to abide in your secret tabernacle in the name of Jesus. Say, Oh Lord, help me to abide in your secret tabernacle in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bible verse number 2 is taken from the book of Psalm 91 verse 2. The Bible says, I will say of the Lord, is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. Close your eyes. Take this prayer upon loud and clear. Say, Oh Lord, I trust in you. Arise and don't let me end in shame in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, I trust in you. Arise and don't let me end in shame in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bible verse number 3 is taken from the book of Psalm 91 verse 3. The Bible says, Surely it shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisy pestilence. Close your eyes. Take this prayer upon loud and clear. Say, Father, deliver me from the power of witchcraft attack in the name of Jesus. Father, Deliver him from the power of witchcraft attack in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bible verse number 4 is taken from the book of Psalm 91 verse 4. The Bible says, He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Close your eyes. Take this prayer point. Say, O oh Lord, cover my virtues from my enemies that are seeking after my life in the name of Jesus. Say, O oh Lord, cover my virtues from my enemies that are seeking after my life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bible verse number 5 is taken from the book of Psalm 91 verse 5. The Bible says, Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that fly by day. Close your eyes. Shout this prayer upon loud and clear. Say, arrows of the day, arrows of the night, are signed against me. Go back to the sender in the name of Jesus. Arrows of the night, arrows of the day, arrows of the night, Ascend against me. Go back to the sender in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bible verse number 6 is taken from the book of Psalm 91 verse 6. The Bible says, None for the person, none for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. Close your eyes. Shout this prayer upon land and clear. Say, Father, let every darkness around my life turn to light in the name of Jesus. Father, let every darkness around my life turn to light in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray.
Amen. Bible verse number 7. It's taken from the book of Psalm 91 verse 7. The Bible says, A thousand shall fall at the side, and ten thousand at the right hand, but shall not come nigh thee. Close your eyes. Take this prayer point. Say, By the power of God, evil will not come near my dwelling in the name of Jesus. By the power of God, evil will not come near my dwelling in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bible verse number 8. It's taken from the book of Psalm 91 verse 8. The Bible says, Only with the eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Close your eyes. Take this prayer upon loud and clear. Say, the powers that are planning to kill me, they will never succeed in the name of Jesus. They will never succeed in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bible verse number 9 is taken from the book of Psalm 91 verse 9. The Bible says, Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, the habitation. Close your eyes. Take this prayer upon loud and clear. Say, Father, grant me the grace to abide in your presence forever. In the name of Jesus. The grace to abide with you forever, grant me in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bible verse number 10 is taken from the book of Psalm 91 verse 10. The Bible says, There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall thy plea come neither thy dwelling. Close your eyes. Take this prayer upon loud and clear. Say, I decree. No evil shall befall me and my family in the name of Jesus. No evil shall befall me and my family in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bible verse number 11 is taken from the book of Psalm 91 verse 11. The Bible, the Bible says, For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. Close your eyes. Take this prayer point. Say, Angels of God, arise and protect me from the battles of the night. In the name of Jesus, angels of God, arise and protect me from the battles of the night. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bible verse number 12 is taken from the book of Psalm 91 verse 12. The Bible says, They shall bear thee up in their hands. Let thou dash thy foot against a stone. Close your eyes. Take this prayer point. Say, Whatever the enemy has agreed over my life, it shall scatter in the name of Jesus. Whatever the enemy has agreed over my life shall scatter in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bible verse number 13 is taken from the book of 91 verse 13. The Bible says, Thou shalt tread upon the lion and harder. The young lion and the dragon shall thou trap on their feet. Close your eyes. Lay your right hand upon your head and say this ladder clear. Say, Father, send your fire into the cauldron of witchcraft to retrieve my dying glory in the name of Jesus. Father, send your fire into the cauldron of witchcraft to retrieve my dying glory in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bible verse four, number 14 is taken from the book of Psalm 91 verse 14. The Bible says, Because he has sent his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he hath known my name. Close your eyes. Say this prayer point. Say, O Lord, arise and save me and save my destiny from daily troubles in the name of Jesus. Say, O Lord, arise and save my destiny from daily troubles in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bible verse number 15 is taken from the book of Psalm 91 verse 15. The Bible says, He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in troubles. I will deliver him and honor him. Close your eyes. Take this prayer point. Say, O Lord, as I call upon you today, answer me speedily in the name of Jesus. Say, O Lord, as I call upon your name today, answer me speedily in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bible verse number 16 is taken from the book of Psalm 91 verse 16. The Bible says, Lord, with long life will I satisfy him and show him thy salvation. Close your eyes. Take this prayer point with confession. Say, I refuse to die. Say, I enter into a covenant of long life in the name of Jesus. I enter into a covenant of long life with the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Take this Bible verse, Psalm 91, and convert it to prayers. It will surely be of help to you in Jesus' name. Have you been blessed by this broadcast? Share it to your friends and family. Once again, this is Evangelist Joshua from Lagos.